So, this is the first time I've ever spoken to you two as a as a, a tag team of sorts. We are the yeah. tag team. And first thing I notice is, man, as long as you don't call us a couple. <laughs> yeah. Always something um, going on here. That's good. More fighting at these things. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's so the first thing on, so. the first thing I noticed was, man, still no cowboy hat. After is, is Jake living in your head? Look at the badass haircut. Why would he wear a cowboy hat with that? <laughs> Looking a million dollars for man here. Uh, I wasn't wearing the cowboy hat to cover up my hair. Uh, you were, but you were sort of like going for the look of a cowboy. Now it's like it's a Terminator. Not the look. No, but I can eat this. Have I not? He's in shape. Um, look at this. There's a proper shoulders here. He's showing off. Right. And I get him. I get him. Looks like a young man again. I can't wear that cowboy hat everywhere. Mm. So. It's like I wore it yesterday, Donna. Where yes, were you he's yesterday? Very, he's, he's very personal about his cowboy hat. Yeah, he's got an electric shocker on it now, so if you touch it, it goes. Yeah, but I, I am live when I'm back home. I do the cowboy thing. Of course, I'm doing it. It's he's, not just because yeah, I'm a poser. He actually fell off his horse when I was over there last. <laughs> he did, but I did. To be fair, it was a rodeo horse oh, that the, bucked me. Yeah, explain, I'm, just about I'm say, sure you stayed on the whole time. Got the whole story. Yeah, he I'm fell off the horse, so. But he didn't just fall off a horse. I said, oh, wow, that's a bit, you know, it's terrible. You fell off a horse. But he was actually doing another you know, the rodeo, the bucking on a real horse, not on a machine. I'm like, are you absolutely <laughs> off your rocker? Like, you're 45 years old. 44. And you, uh, 44. And, 44 and years young. Young, uh, young sorry. Exactly. Well, right. if you're 46, you're allowed to say that. Yeah? <laughs> and, so, and, 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 he, and he's, I'm like, and, like you're learning the rodeo now like it's like me saying i'm going to take up skateboarding tomorrow again you know, it's been 20 years you're going to wear a cowboy hat you better do cowboy things yeah and i mean exactly you just right. ride you have enough cows on your land and donkeys and horses you don't need to do the rodeo not every cowboy does a rodeo you've got to ride and rope otherwise you can't wear a cowboy hat and at least you've got to be trying so I suppose that I need to give you the right of response to what Jake said. He really went in on you when I spoke to him during the week. Again? No, this is the first one. But I haven't spoken to you since on camera. You know what? Jake is um, basically what we call, in the most polite, nice way, a proper <laughs> <laughs> So what I would say to him is like, we I know your game. Quite funny. Yeah, he is. But we know his game. Someone asked me earlier, when if JJ, uh, God willing, beats Fournier, fights Tommy and beats Tommy, then uh, do you think the Jake fight will happen? I said, no f***ing way. If Duck Paul is ducking now, what's he gonna do then? He's gonna run like forever, so it's done. We're done with this fight, it's over. I mean, were you surprised you didn't get caught in the crosshairs there when Jake was uh, going he, in on no, he's, got, he's, he's got given you a couple of strays. <laughs> he's, uh, he's given you a couple. I've been sent some stupid screenshots that he's put out of me and things like that, but ultimately he's got a problem with me, doesn't he? Because I've made every big fight there is to make in boxing. I've mm. done heavyweight unified world championships in stadiums. I've done, uh, world I've done the, big, the big yeah, world boxing super series. I've done the biggest ever show in Asia. Uh, so come at me, Jake. <laughs> hey, I'm a, I'm a really dodgy businessman. But guess what? I've put on 30. I've had 37 world champions, Jake. 37 real world champions, yeah? yeah? You know, guys who bite, you know, like David Hay, <laughs> Klitschko's, you know, those sort of people. And guess what? You want to make a fight with a guy called KSI. You, if you're worried about the cowboy, talk to the businessman, you talk to me, no problem, anytime, anytime. But don't make that as the excuse. So, Jake, love to hear from you. Ask Eddie for my number, he'll give it to you. And I'm sure he'll give me a good reference, I hope so. Um, or else he's in trouble. And look, I, I don't, we were pushed for time, so let's just get a little run through of this card. I mean, I, I know KSI Fournier, you've been talking about it all week. For, for months, you've been talking about this fight. What else stands out to you on this card? I suppose the one that everyone's talking about is either the heavyweights or, um, or this Saul Papi and Anthony Taylor, right? I think Saul Papi and Anthony Taylor is, is very highly anticipated fight. The consequences are the biggest. Yeah. I mean, other than the main event, maybe, you know, like it's just. It's, it's, I don't know, the, the last three fights, even Deji and Swarms, the consequences are Great huge. Fight. People don't expect Anthony to win, so it's, it's less it's harmful. For me, it's the round. It can, anyone it's, can mix those. Yeah, but no, no, but we're not, people forget something about a three rounder. And this sounds really obvious, yeah? yeah? But first of all, if you're looking for a knockout and you've only got three rounds to do it in, it, it, stuff is going to get rushed. Then the, the deciding factor, really, for me, is the first round. You yeah. lose that first round, you're staring down yeah. a barrel because 
You've got to win, obviously, the next two. Once again, sounds obvious, yeah. but people forget that a first knockdown round will be, big too. will be on fire. This one? A knockdown will be big too. A, a knockdown is pretty much this, well, not decisive, obviously. Anything can happen, but... Yeah, it's, it's so much it's more. exciting. It's going to be exciting. But we're night. talking always about like who's going to knock who out. It's three rounds. Like, let's talk about who's going to score the rounds. Yep. Who's going to who's going to win the points in those rounds? But that's the beauty of misfits. Yeah, is that I I, I don't know people who... are pressed to try and knock each other out because it is three or four rounds yeah. for some of these fights. You know? Yeah, but we've got, we've got six rounds tomorrow night for the main. Well, JJ, event. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 but a three-round fight is a big too. difference to a four-round fight. It's, it's, it's a huge difference you go into it psychologically very very different that first round is going to be very interesting to see very are they because salt normally it's quite a little bit cagey i know the fight before mm. last with uh, this, this nine the second but against you know, the one talking about the nine second knockout the o2 yeah against the canadian um Worski, yeah. Worski, Worski. yeah so but, love but, but but against brackner he took his time he was watching him yeah. he's not going to be able to do too much of that yeah. You 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 watched for the first round. You lose the first round. So he's then immediately he can't drop around again. And he's not been in with someone who gets no, on no, top of someone who yeah, gets exactly, on top exactly. so, yeah. so, so, so for me, it's it's almost more fascinating that it's three rounds or four rounds. Finally, do you think the next one after Fournier, whether it's Tommy, whether it's Jake, whether it's you know whoever, do you think the next one will be eight rounds? Uh, yeah. Probably yes. But right now, I, I thought you were going to ask who it is. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm more. I, I just want to get through tomorrow night. I think it's a, it's a big, big hurdle. People mustn't underestimate that hurdle and, and talk about it like the, the guys that are nine and pro. You could say, yeah, yeah, he's got padded record. Name me a nine and pro apart from Vasil Lomichenko. Yeah. Your younger viewers, Google who that is. Generally, when you're nine and you, you don't have like. You haven't fought fantastic people. It doesn't matter. He's yeah. a, a pro fighter. Like Tommy was a pro fighter. It's, it's a it's a huge step up tomorrow. And Tommy is next, right? And we got to get we're working on it. Well, we're talking about it, but I'm also not looking past yeah. Joe Fournier. It's, it would be crazy to. You got to meet with John now because I know that, like you guys, but I, I know that to get the deal done, it would need to be all of you guys, the the brothers, you. Yeah, I know we're one voice, so you can go to a meeting and I can go to. Mm. It doesn't. It's not quite that way, but you know we're. We had a good discussion, and we've had more discussion since we went up and, and, and met with John and, and the family. And Dylan's going to be here tomorrow, Dylan Dallas? I heard someone told me that. I haven't had it confirmed, is but he? yeah. He's he's speaking to you, yeah. isn't he? He's not talking to me. No, no, no. no. He has got my number. He's Guys, got your number. That's whoever sure. wants to be a Misfits 